Morrison says he's sorry he got shot you. And uh, do you have anything to say in return to him? Does he have a James. James said he's sorry he shot me. Tim oh, Tim Amundsen. Oh, well, you know, okay. Tim and I go way, way back. And, huh? Hello. That's okay. Yeah, Tim and I go way back. And on on the previous show we worked on, I uh, he got killed and I took his wife. So I think we're even. Any hints of Bobby coming back? Anything's possible. <laughs> that's um, that's kind of the uh, extent to which I can reliably comment. That's, uh, they were actually very, very plain about that when they told us what to talk about and what not to talk about. Okay. <laughs> Anything's possible. What kind of fan feedback and reaction have you gotten from the scene where Bobby asked Dan and Sam to burn the flag? Um, that, not an enormous amount other than, you know, a lot of people were unhappy that it happened. There was a lot of comment about, wait a minute, what happened to the little leather case the flask was in? Because maybe that's... And there was some comment about the fact that the camera panned around and Castiel was sitting on the stairs watching with great interest. Does that mean something? I don't know if it means anything or not, but uh, uh, it was... Um, you know, it, the, the fan base was really amazing in terms of how they dealt with Bobby's demise. Whether it's a permanent demise or not, the fans were absolutely amazing and so kind to me personally uh, about it. And uh, and they seem, for the most part, very unhappy that uh, it had happened. Uh, I'm sure there are a couple of people out there going, oh, God, they get rid of that guy, finally. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, that's my mom, and she's always like that. So. <laughs> Which scene do you think was harder to film? Because he basically had two goodbyes. Yeah. Which one was harder, more emotional? Uh, very much the, the the first one in... in uh, in uh, um, death's door, uh, uh, emotionally, because that was that was more. I mean, that was a real kind of. When we were shooting the burning the flask scene, the thing that was foremost in our minds was not catching fire, <laughs> because that was a real bullet forge. They cut they cut the dialogue that explained what that was. We were burning it on. Although you can hear it in that gag reel. Uh, uh, but that was so hot. And I was further away than the other two guys. And they were about to catch fire. Uh, and uh, so there wasn't any emotion at all going on there. We were just trying not to burn to death. So. Well, I think that that would be a great idea. I mean, short of Crowley or Castiel or somebody going, boom, you're back alive. Uh, yeah, there's a possibility, you know. I mean, that, I'm back to that same stupid answer. Um, uh, it's, uh, but that seems like a very clever possibility. I would mention it to everybody else. Well, so <laughs> No, I have another one. Um, yes. I actually kind of enjoyed Bobby before he went bad. I kind of enjoyed the idea that Bobby could be a ghost and be a help to Sam mm -hmm. and Dean. I, I actually did an article where I said I thought that he could make it. If one person could make it, mm -hmm. one spirit could mm -hmm. make it as a ghost and not go crazy, it would be him because he had Sam and Dean to help him and get through it. Did you have any thoughts of maybe continuing that? Did you want to continue that as, as that? Well, or? You know, I had mixed feelings about being a ghost, um, as I'm sure many ghosts do. Uh, I was, um, it introduced is, and some interesting character dilemmas. Um, uh, 
uh, how do you do what you feel needs to be done when there's a possibility you'll there'll be terrible collateral damage uh, and uh, and that was that was very interesting to do and I I didn't mind I didn't mind playing that uh, uh, I did mind getting spray painted white every morning. Uh, that got old quick. And uh, uh, and also there were there were a lot of scenes that were in one sense a lot easier to play because it was just a big scene with Sam and Dean doing something and then the camera would pan over and Bobby B. And you know that's not all that hard to memorize. So. Um, I had mixed feelings. It was, dramatically, I, it was it was fascinating, and I, I would have I actually thought maybe it was going to go longer than it did.